I'm Finn from Shift. I'm here with Beast Mode from G2 Esports. G2 Stride, I should say. Um, you've just beaten uh, a power side that started the day very strongly. Um, how do you feel day one went as a whole? Um, it was going, it was, it's been going pretty well. Uh, I think we, I think you could say we got the um, probably the luckiest matches out of everyone. Uh, probably the easiest ones, I would say. But um, you know, we got them done. That's all that matters. And uh, yeah, they, they were pretty good, honestly. Um, but we were just feeling it, so yeah. You played them in Copenhagen, obviously. Um, is there anything different you notice in their approach compared to that game? Um, to be honest, no, I don't really, I don't really notice much different. Maybe just more aggressive. Um, maybe a little bit more pre-jumpy. You're just challenge, like going for challenges more, but no, nothing, uh, nothing else than that. Fair enough. Um, what was your preparation like for this event? Did you boot camp at all? Um, what did you do to prepare for Copenhagen for London? Um, so we boot camped, um, yeah, boot camped here in London for about four days. Um, I flew in a day later than uh, for my teammates because I had to wait for some passport uh, issues. But we've been boot camping and putting at least like six to eight hours minimum per day. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, just the norm. Um, so for Copenhagen, people weren't really sure where to place you, um, especially because NA didn't really finish strongly last season. Mm -hmm. Um, but for this event, there's definitely a lot more people saying you're your top contenders. Does that change anything for you? Um, yeah, I mean, at the same time, no and yes. I mean, it gives me more confidence as a, as a player and as a team just to see everyone ranking us so high. And it gives us something to prove, you know, to stay at the top. But at the same time, I try not to think about all that because there's a lot of opinions out there. You know, they're, they're, they're going to want to see you lose or want to see you win. It, it don't matter. So I try not to think about it. But yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling to be considered, you know, top two, top one, top three, whatever it may be. So yeah. Yeah, especially for you as well. Because obviously last season you ended, you missed the last three lands for LCS. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're back in the top team in NA. Uh, what are the key differences between version one beast mode and G2 beast mode? Um, To be honest, I think it's just more like, I think it's more confidence because, you know, and like, just like the experience I, I that I gotten the past year, because losing has just like made me rethink the way I want to play and rethink the way I, I take the game or how serious I take the game. So I think I think the mix of like just how I think and like my, my confidence levels, because you know when you lose, you know you you just put a lot more effort in, and you're you're used to making those lands, you're used to um, just being at the at the top. You would say so. It's just it's just a humbling feeling, I would say. All right. Well, thank you very much, and the best of luck. Thank you, man.